All right, my prophecy, or I would say more discerning of the spirits, but it is prophetical. Uh, first thing I have to start with the foundation of uh, testing the spirits. This is like a trial run of testing the spirits. Holy Father is wanting us to see through the smoke screen. I, ISN, it's supernatural. Several prophets gave an alert that the mainstream media is a false prophet. Uh, so the scripture going to that is 1 John 4, Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God. For many false prophets have gone into the world. By this you know the Holy Spirit of our Holy God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus has come in the flesh from our Holy God, and every spirit that does not confess this, uh, does not from is not from our Holy God. This is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you heard of was coming and is now in the world already. Okay, um, so we have to test the spirits. That's our job as Christians. It's not maybe, and we can't always, de you know, depend on a prophet. What if they put the prophets in jail? Then what? Then we got to rely on our own di uh, discernment, right? The Issachar discernment. Uh, Smith w Wigglesworth, very powerful uh, preacher, uh, healing ministry, prophetical ministry. He refused to read the newspaper. Look it up on Wikipedia. He did not read the newspaper because of this fact that you cannot depend on propaganda from the news because that is the false prophet. And it says Matthew twenty four twenty four, For false messiahs and false prophets will appear to, and perform great signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. Okay, wow, we're seeing on TV all this warfare. Wow, you know, but see, there are two sides to the coin that you you can't just believe one side of it. So now we're going to, I'm going to go into another scripture here. Um, the king, a king with his eyes gets rid of evil, Proverbs 28. It says, when a king sits on his throne to judge, he winnows out all evil with his eyes. Holy Father gave me that scripture as I was praying and asking him um, what he felt about what was going on. So uh, the false prophet, the main media, is painting uh, Putin as a bad person. So when did they do this before? Uh, didn't they do this five years ago with Russia collusion and, oh, Trump and Russia, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so the Durham report is coming out and throwing and just totally throwing that into the sea, just like it's turning over every rock and it's proving that Trump was right, correct? So if the mainstream media was painting that dark picture of Russia then, you think they're all of a sudden going to change? No, not unless you see them all go get baptized in the Jordan and receive the Holy Spirit and speaking in tongues and preaching the Word of God. I haven't seen CNN doing that yet, have you? So, um... I had another scripture here I'm going to look at real quick. And it has to do with the first person. Here it is. It says, in a lawsuit, the first to speak seems right until someone comes forward and cross-examines. Okay, so the, the mainstream media seemed right with the Russian collusion. Trump is horrible, blah, blah, blah. Now it's being cross-examined by Durham. And it's being found as falsehood. So here we are with Russia again. They're bad, bad. Same narrative, same thing. You know, a fool a fool eats his vomit. He pukes it up and eats his vomit again. That's basically what's happening. And so wait for the cross-examination, guys. Uh, it took five years for the Durham report to, to go digging in. And the cross-examination is proving that that Russia collusion stuff was a bunch of baloney. Okay, there has been no cross-examination. We don't hear the other side of this Russia gig going on. Okay, so the other thing, uh, starting from the first uh, root of this, was there were uh, television things on a transaction with a certain senator and Ukraine, I won't say the name, uh, and there was money that exchanged hands, uh, a U.S. legislature uh, 
vice president, I won't say the name of the vice president, but they offered Ukraine a certain amount of money, blah, blah, blah. And at that point, that was a wicked alliance, okay? So that you can do the research yourself. It's Second Chronicles chapters 18 and the first verse of 19. And it was Jehoshaphat made an alliance with Ahab, okay? And Ahab asked him to go out to war with him. Well, uh, Jehoshaphat said, let's seek the Lord's counsel. And Ahab went and got 400 prophets from that demonic Baal worshiping. And those gave their report. But then they went to Micaiah and asked for his report. And he basically said, don't go to war. But because Jehoshaphat, which was a good king, he went out with Ahab, which was a bad, uh, an evil king. He was evil in action. Um, Holy Father made a judgment call him, a judgment call on Jehoshaphat because he made an alliance with a wicked person. So the good people that I'm speaking about that represent Jehoshaphat is Ukraine. The wicked people is that a uh, certain person I won't name the name. Uh, uh, U, uh, USA legislator who bribed Ukraine to doing evil um, at that point there was evil in Ukraine because the good the good king bowed down to the evil one okay so now the Holy Father so that's 2nd Chronicles 18 chapters 18 and 19 and then the next one is in it's in Genesis. So basically, Holy Father gave Ukraine a time to repent. So that as we're going, there's a cleansing going on. That's the the Durham report. That's cleansing our land. Okay. So the time for the people here in the United States to repent has passed. They did not repent. They did not cough up their lies and say, "I'm sorry, I slandered." So the Durham report is having to dig it out costing thousands and millions of dollars I'm sure and now people are going to have to face facts with this new report now with Ukraine Holy Father also waited for Ukraine to repent they have not and that has to go with um, Genesis 15 verses 14 through 16 and it says and he said unto Abram Know of surety that thy seed shall be a stranger in a land not theirs, and shall serve them, and they shall affi afflict them for four hundred years. And also that nation whom they shall serve will I judge, and afterward shall I come, they sh will come out with great substance, which is wealth. And thou shalt go to thy fathers in peace, thou shalt be buried in a good old age, but in the fourth generation they shall come hither again, for the iniquity of the Amorites is not yet full. So the wickedness of the Amorites is basically, uh, it, it, it's been in, in both instances. It was the non-repentance of the people involved with the Russia collusion gig, and then it was Ukraine making a bad alliance. Now, when Ukraine made a bad alliance, <clears throat> that brought a curse. Um, let's see. So it says, And Jehoshaphat the king of Judah, this is the Second Chronicles 8, chapters 18 and 19, and this is 19 right here, And Jehoshaphat the king of Judah returned to his house in peace to Jerusalem, and Jehu the son of Hanan Hanani the seer went out to meet him and said to the king Jehoshaphat, Shouldest thou help the ungodly and love them that hate the Holy Lord? Therefore is wrath upon thee from, from before the Lord. So that is what happened with Ukraine. They made an alliance with a wicked person. And that was from those were leaders from the USA. So it brought a curse on them. Now uh, the, the, the sin of Ukraine is fulfilled. Now the Holy Father, since they would not repent of whatever, that, that allowed evil to come into Ukraine. Okay, there was, there was a shaking of hands and an exchange of finances. I won't name any names. You're going to have to figure it out. Um, but it's kind of obvious. Um, 
Okay, so then now we're looking at the winnowing out of the evil. The propaganda is not going to say, oh, this is what's happening because they're not going to make money off of good news. They're going to make money off of jaw-dropping news. So they're, they have their own narrative uh, and they're going to say what's going to make their uh, publicity go up. It's just like the drama queen, you know what I mean, the drama and the attention and the flailing on the ground like the two-year-old holding their breath because mommy didn't give them the candy bar while the, the drama queen is on the floor holding their breath and giving their own narrative. But look at the Durham report. This is history repeating. The Durham report is going to tell you that Russian narrative is not true. And they're, they're doing it again. So listen to the prophets. Um, with all the Bible study I have on my website, I highly recommend that um, you join me and speak the Word of God. Not only listen, but grab the Bible and speak it too, because you'll be able to clean out all this deception, because we're in a season of great deception. And that false prophet, the, the propaganda of the news, is, it, it is the false prophet. You can't, I mean... 80% of what they say is lies, lies, lies. If they say something, you might as well believe the opposite. Because, I mean, when even when they said about anything, I won't even say exactly what, but um, you really have to test the spirits with the, with the main media. I would stay, stay, stay stick close, <laughs> close to the prophets that are uh, sturdy and true, Hank Kuhneman. Um, I've, I've, been with Hank Kuhneman, I know this sounds weird, but I'm like Kat Kerr, I, I visit heaven, and I do visit, and I did have a powwow with Hank Kuhneman, and God was telling me he's the real deal, um, because I have been with him in heaven, he has heaven visits, I don't know if he remembers them or not, but he does, and I've met with him, um, we meet together um, as prophets, and God calls us mailmen, that's all we are, we just get the messages from God, it's not like we make the news, all we do is get the messages from my Holy Father. We are just mailmen, um, just like everybody else, you know, just a job, you know what I mean? So anyway, there it is. Um, test the spirits. Join me in my Bible study. You will hear very clearly as you clean out your spirit, man, by speaking the Word of God. You will hear maybe some of you may have uh, discernment better than mine. You know, because I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed. I just pray and pray and pray all the time. Okay, thanks for listening. Have a blessed day.